everybody, it's Lori. I hope you're doing well. So today I thought I'd take you along while I'm editing some images that I took on my light tracing pad. So you can see the full image here. Here is my light tracing pad that I'm using. I'm shooting this on the ground. So this is like a flat lay. I laid these flowers out. You can even see where I did some taping of the stems. I wanted this to be as if it was in the garden growing. So these are gladiolias. They get really, they sway in the wind, they curve. They're just really beautiful flowers. So this first image is the one that was exposed at a brighter stop. So when you shoot these images, you typically overexpose um, a couple of the images in order to get all of the translucency, that beautiful lightness and almost glow. Now, the second image you'll see is the is the brighter. So this one would be a three stop overexposed image. So three stops above the zero. And then the bottom one is right at two stops. Now I could edit just this image and it would be fine, but I do like the brightness that this provides. And what I wanna do is blend these together. So the first step, let's jump in and get started. Again, I am in Photoshop because that's the easiest program that I like to use working with layers. All right, so let's jump in. Okay, first thing I like to do is I highlight both of my layers. So you can use your shift key to gray both of them out. Next, I'm gonna come over to edit and I want to do auto align. Now I was on a tripod, but you still can get movement. So the first thing I want to do is do auto and just align the layers together to see if I was off at all. Just about always I'm off just a little bit, so we will um let's get off of that and it looks like i was okay maybe just a little little off on this edge but we're gonna crop it so now that we're done with that the next step is i'm going to go to this top layer now remember the top one is our brighter layer so i am going to grab my mask and i'm actually going to invert the mask that is command or control i for invert so you can invert that layer. Now what that does is it hides it. So now we only see our background, our layer zero. Now what I'm going to do is grab a soft round brush. You can always come up here, check your brush. I'm gonna use a soft round and I'm gonna put my opacity maybe about 70, 75% or so, just so that I start off pretty soft. I'm gonna keep my flow at 100% and smoothing, I'm actually gonna increase that a little bit. All right, now what I wanna do is I'm gonna zoom in. I want to selectively brighten areas of the image. And so this is where it's almost like painting. So you can see where I can come in and add some brighter areas, especially in these centers. Now, I like to keep the brush a little softer, a little less opacity, because then I can go over it multiple times. So if there's a particular area that I want to go over, I can do that. So we're just going to kind of come in and I'm just popping in. So these areas were already pretty bright, maybe right there. But what I want to do is bring out some of this really beautiful detail from that overexposed image. So again, I'm just going to dance my brush around, really play with it. And this is our first, first round. So we're gonna do several what I call painting techniques with this. All right, now I wanna tackle some of the green. So I'm just gonna come in and where it's already bright, I'm just going to enhance it a little bit more. So just bringing out some of that beautiful detail that we got in that exposure. So if you've never shot on a light tracing pad, I have a blog post that I will put below. I also teach a course on it. It is a really fun technique and um, it's great because you don't really need extra light. 
And then you can creatively edit the images as you choose. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is increase that opacity all the way up to 100%. And let's go ahead and take our smoothing back down. And I'm just gonna come in and I am going to brighten again in a couple areas. So you can see, I'm just gonna come back in Really, this one, I really wanted to add some more brightness. Maybe right in there. And then I'm gonna come over to this side. I'm just giving it a little bit extra. So what this does is I'm able to keep the darker parts of the image, but now I'm also enhancing and bringing out those beautiful details. I may just add a little right there. All right, so that is the kind of first step that I'm taking to blend these images together. So we can see again, this was the dark and this was the light. Now, what I wanna do is I'm actually now going to flip my brush to black and with a small brush, I want to still go back over and clean up some of the dark edges. See how pretty that dark is right there? So I want to make sure that we keep some of that. I'm just going around at the bottom. I want that dark, those dark edges to still, that color to be there. So I'm just going through where this is kind of um, ruffled. And I just want to bring out the detail that was underneath. Now, if you ever get confused, you can turn off and go back. You can see how dark that is. Now, if you don't like it at 100%, you could bring the brush down. So we could bring the brush down a little bit. And maybe you just reveal at a smaller amount so that you still keep that bright look. You can kind of decide, decide what you like for your image. Okay. I think for the green part, I think I'm good. Um... Maybe add just a little more pink right there. So you get to be the artist and decide what you want with the image. Now I'm gonna flip it back to white. And I think over here, I got a little carried away with that darkness. So I'm just gonna come back in and let's take this opacity all the way up. I just wanna make sure I keep that um, brightness that we pulled in. I just wanna make sure that stays. Okay, so at this point, what I'm going to do, that's really it. I just wanted to kind of balance. You can see that one was pretty dark. I wanted to give it that nice pop. So now I'm gonna do a stamped layer. That's Command Option Shift and the letter E. That's going to give me a blank layer. It's almost like flattening, but I still have my layers in case I need them. So the next thing I wanna do, let's go ahead and crop this image so that we can look at it with the crop in place. So let's get that um, moving in the right direction. Let me scroll out. You can see I was using a, um, I, I should have had my tripod a little closer, but it all works out. So I've got all this excess that I really didn't need in the shot. Um, I could have lowered my tripod, but I was kind of in a hurry to, working on this. These flowers were almost spent and I wanted to capture it pretty quick. All right, so let's come in, crop this, and then we will look at it with clean, a clean image. Wow, that looks so much better. Okay, so I'm really liking all the detail. I do think I wanna give a few areas an additional pop of light. So what I like to do is do a gray layer. So I'm gonna grab the add a layer and hold the option key. That's going to give me a new layer option. For mode, I'm going to select overlay. That's gonna give us this fill with neutral color. This is going to create a 50% gray layer. You'll see it right here. Now I'm going to grab a white brush and with the opacity at probably about 50%, somewhere around there, I'm gonna come in now, make our brush nice and soft, and I'm just going to brighten some additional brightness in these darker areas. 
Now, what I love about this is it's non-destructive and it's not taking away our color. It's just kind of popping that part of the image. I'm going to give these guys just a little bit more, a little bit more pop of, it's almost like giving it some exposure. It's just a fun way to do it that is non-destructive, isn't going to hurt your image, but just gives it a little bit more of that soft brightening. Now, if you feel like it's too much, you could always lower the opacity of the layer. So you can see we could take it down. I'm going to keep it. That's all the way, maybe at about 80%. I think that's nice. Now for the final step for this image, let's go ahead and do another stamped layer, Command Option Shift and the letter E. And one thing I sometimes like to do is add an oil paint. So I'm going to come into Stylize Oil Paint. And I like to keep all the brush over to the right, the lighting over to the left. This is a way to apply oil paint in a really soft, beautiful way. Look at that, just magical. And then I like to just lower the opacity until it probably right at maybe 50%. So you can see it before and after. It is very subtle. I think actually for this image, let's increase it just a little bit. I just thought for these gladiolias, it would look really, really beautiful. You can see before and after. Let me zoom in and that may help you look at it before and after. So just giving some softness. I think it just really worked for this image. So that's it. You can see really how easy that was. I do see a little area I want to clean up. Just going to come in and get rid of that distraction. And let's get rid of that. If it will go away, I may need to do another stamped layer so that our layer is at 100%. And then I'll just come in and yeah, get rid of that. Okay, I don't see any other blemishes. And I think it turned out really pretty. I hope you enjoyed this edit and that if you want to learn more about um, shooting and editing on a light pad, feel free to check out my course or my article in the link below. Thanks so much, everybody. Take a minute to click like and subscribe. It sure helps me out. I appreciate you.